So compared to traditional marketing companies, you know, traditional businesses yes. and then uh, multi-level marketing, what is the essential difference? It's a different business model, but how do you segregate it? What differentiates you and makes you much more powerful? What makes you not lose everything that you made in one go? Well, in uh, traditional markets, of course, you know, you invest in uh, retail stores, production, or service, and, and, and yeah. production, factories, and so on. Mm -hmm. Whereas in uh, network marketing, mm -hmm. you know, we just go through directly through the distributors and customers. Right. We, we don't have to invest in retail space. Mm -hmm. We don't have the expenses of traditional businesses where you have to pay electric bill, phone bill, mm -hmm. salary, and mm -hmm. so on. So I, I, I have total belief in networking. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the best business model for many, many people. Be, uh, it's a fact mm -hmm. that many people, if they do not have networking, they may have to work for other people until the day they are old. But uh, Eddie, uh, I rarely use the word but, forgive me, no? Yes. Uh, but marketing is the front end of any business. Yes. The back end is still production and you know the usual thing, the supply side, no? Yes. So that cannot be multi-level. That cannot, uh, or is that? I don't know. So the back side is still traditional. Yes. So the front end, the network marketing is still backed up by traditional business. So do you not see this business model leaning on the old business style? Uh, not necessarily. We are talking about production and marketing. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whereas in networking, we are more in the marketing side. Mm -hmm. Now, producing goods or, or having goods being sourced is easy. Mm -hmm. There are many, many factories. There are many, many suppliers today. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want any product, all yeah. you do is go into the internet and you can easily find mm -hmm. you know, wholesalers or, or factories who are willing to produce or OEM products to you. Mm -hmm. It's easy. And in network marketing, mm -hmm. it is a great channel for us to sell goods and services. Distribution. Yes, distribution without going through the, the traditional businesses and all the recent expenses mm -hmm. that we face in traditional businesses. I understand from statistics, you know, as you go around from different uh, network marketings, the success rate of the winners, the champions, the people you give gold awards or ruby awards or diamond awards, you know, the percentage of people who succeed is very minor, it's very small. Is that correct? That is exactly correct. Mm -hmm. And that is also one of the reasons why we set up uh, Diamond Lifestyle. How do you differentiate yourself from the other 900 companies? Okay, uh, I'll, I, I got a, a chart, uh, two charts here for you. You want to show something to yes. me? Yes. Okay. Can okay. I show this? Yes, please. Yes. This is the way mm -hmm. that the uh, money is divided in networking for the last 50, 60 years. Okay. That means, that, is that the gross profit? No. One third is for the cost of product. Okay. 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 One third, okay, goes to the owners, boss. Mm -hmm. the boss, mm -hmm. leaving a miserable one third to pay bonuses and incentives. For the front end. Yes. Mm -hmm. What I've seen for the last 30 years is that if we only have this one third to pay bonuses and incentives, mm -hmm. there is not enough money. And because there is not enough money, every company mm -hmm. has to play the superstar game. You know, there's only enough money to, 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 to really pay the 20%. The top. The top leaders. Yeah, yeah. And these top leaders go on stage, do the show, show people the how song much, and dance, the song you know, and dance, all yeah. the excitement that is created, mm -hmm. showing how much money we make. Mm -hmm. And actually, this is all r really wrong because mm -hmm. The 80% of the mid-level and lower-level leaders, they work very hard and uh, they are paid very poorly because mm -hmm. there is not enough money, mm -hmm. okay? And as a result, mm -hmm. you know, the attrition rate in networking is abnormally high. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two what weeks, two weeks, yeah, yeah. three yeah. weeks, yeah. yeah. What we are doing in uh, DLC is something that's abnormal mm -hmm. and this is what... What I is that abnormal thing that you're doing in DLC? Okay. This one. Nothing goes to the boss. What we do in DOC is we're going to take the money that belongs to the boss. Mm -hmm. And this is actually my money. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give this up and write it in the marketing plan. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you know, we can bring down the attrition rate. So you take home nothing. You as a founder, as a boss, you take home nothing. Yeah, it looks like, you know, there's nothing left for me, right? So why open a company? Well, number one, you know, mm -hmm. I have saved some money over the last 20 odd years. 
you know, mm -hmm. so I'm comfortable. Mm -hmm. And number two, now I come back and as a distributor. Mm -hmm. And when you have so much money paid out in bonuses, so basically you're paying twice as much as any other Tom, Dick, or Harry networking company. Easy, except Amway. Uh, no, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I shouldn't say that, but Amway. Also, as the old traditional it's model. The, okay, it's so this one. you are one up on Amway because of what you're doing. Uh, I'm not trying to compete with Amway mm -hmm. or put down Amway or put down what other companies mm -hmm. do. Uh, is it right or is it wrong for businessmen to invest in network companies, risk their money, spend their time to make a profit? It mm -hmm. is right. Mm -hmm. It's not wrong. Mm -hmm. It's not wrong. Mm -hmm. But you know, uh, now that you know, uh, I, I, you know, I'm up, about to slow down before I retire. Yeah. I want to do something for mm -hmm. the people who believe in me. Mm -hmm. I speak all over the world, mm -hmm. and my organization that I've sponsored throughout the world mm -hmm. is over three million people. Mm -hmm. People believe in me. They believe, but at the same time, there is not enough money. Mm -hmm. Now, I cannot abandon the people who believe in me. So before I retire, I would like to build a company and give it back to distributors. Mm -hmm. that's, that's your personal goal. Yes. That's your personal objective. That's yes. your mission. No? I'm sure you have family. I'm sure you have founders that founded the company with you. Do they have the same vision? Do they have the same goal? Uh, no, Are I'm, they also satisfied with what they have in life? Uh, no, I'm, on, I'm the only one who owns Oh, this is a single proprietor. Oh, yes. Like single. yes. Yes. Fantastic. So this is private equity. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. And mm -hmm. you have invested now in this lovely country we call Philippines. Yes, I have. And yes. you are going to give it your all. Yes. Yes. Okay. I came to the Philippines 16 years ago. Mm -hmm. That and was the first time. Yes, the first time. And uh, we started and we built a huge group in the Philippines. For, for the other company. Yes, for the other company. Mm -hmm. And actually, you know, many, many network companies to, Today, actually, I say pyramids companies today, mm -hmm. you know, many of them are students of mine, mm -hmm. including the owners, mm -hmm. you know, the, you know, mm -hmm. students yeah. of yours. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, 16 years later, you know, I've come back and can we correct the mistakes that is, is in the Philippines today too? The network marketing business in the Philippines today is a circus. Mm -hmm. I think it's a circus everywhere in the world. Uh, it's a circus nearly everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, there are pyramid schemes and, and, and they should not insult the name of this industry and call themselves a networking company. They so are pyramid you, you schemes. you think the industry by itself is flawless? It's the people who run it? Because the business model is a business model. It can be any other business model. Uh, real estate companies pay commission. Yes. Yeah? Uh, insurance companies pay commission. Yes. So, so is it the people or is it the business mo model? Which is at flaw? Now, the, the business idea mm -hmm. is perfect. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, flawless. It's flawless. Mm -hmm. okay? The whole problem is many owners of companies mm -hmm. purposely write loopholes in the marketing plan mm -hmm. for people to play games. For people to not to find out where the cream is going. No, to play games, you know, they open the, the, the loopholes where you can buy in and it is so easy to excite people who do not understand networking mm -hmm. to come in and just buy up and, and get hurt. In, in my exposure to different uh, network marketing companies, no, we've never been able to figure out what, where is the source of the product coming because, you know, pricing is different, the quality of the product is different, the research done is different or the effect of the product is different. Yes. But nobody ever knows, even the biggest companies in the world, that who does the sourcing and how much uh, margin they create on the sourcing side. So in your company, what are you doing different as far as that is concerned? Uh, again, I like to repeat that sourcing for products is easy. I know, but uh, uh, how do we manage that it is ethical and powerful sourcing so, yes. that, so that this two-third becomes really big? Yes. Yeah? Yes. How do, we, how do you manage that? Uh, uh, how do you control that? It's very simple. Mm. What we should do is we should work exactly like traditional businesses. That then? Yes. As far as exactly like traditional okay. businesses. For example, now, for any good traditional businesses, the cost of product is high. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
and you must be good to make it down to break it down to say that you make good products and you are well priced mm -hmm. we cannot just pay lip service to it mm -hmm. a good company like dlc we must be able to give all our customers mm -hmm. a 30 day money back guarantee mm -hmm. So, so is your marketing side, is your admin side autonomous of your production and purchase side? Is it two different things? Do they work together or do they work separately? Like you do your job well and we do our job well. That's traditional business. Yes. No? Does that also happen in your business? Yes. Uh, in, 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 my, in my company, I have two departments. One is, of course, the business and marketing. Mm -hmm. And we also have the R&D department. Mm -hmm. okay? So when it comes to sourcing of products, mm -hmm. actually the most important thing that we must source for mm -hmm. is raw material. Correct, correct. Raw I mean, material. The deeper you go down the yes. line, the better it yes. is. Yeah. Uh, so you have to all the time keep up with what is the latest raw material, what is improvement done, and, and so on. And after that, what we do is we get our experts to do the formulation. Does DLC does the research and production itself, or it just partners with people who do good research and production? Uh, I'm very, very, very fortunate that in Taiwan mm -hmm. we have two very, very good factories who supply. You. Yes, and they are they are not just uh, uh, food uh, uh, what call it, food supplement factories. Mm -hmm. They are pharmaceutical factories. Mm -hmm. They make uh, products for hospitals and clinics. Yeah. And uh, many years ago, they also set up a health food department. Mm -hmm. And uh, these two companies are both companies listed in the stock market. Mm -hmm. And they have a huge R&D department. Mm -hmm. And uh, what they do is they will always come up with you know, uh, uh, advice or suggestions for me that you know, certain things are now hot or you know, we have done certain improvements to certain products. And then they write the formulas for me mm -hmm. and I own the formulas. All right. Yeah. Eddie, we are going to come to a break in about two minutes, okay. one and a half minutes. No? But before we end up for a break, I'd like you to mention the products and the quality that you put in. You know, mention what kind of product line you have, what variants you have. Then we'll take a break and we'll come back to a little bit about Philippines and you. Okay. Is that okay? So tell me about the kind of products you run. Well, okay. Uh, let me talk about one product called our fish oil. Fish oil, that's for? Yes, fish yeah. oil. Mm -hmm. you know, Omega-3. Omega you get fish oil all over. Mm -hmm. You can find in all the all the health food store. Mm -hmm. Now, what makes us special? Mm -hmm. Number one, I only use two kinds of small fish. Okay, when you do fish oil, mm -hmm. avoid using the big fish, fish that can grow in the sea for 10, 15 years. Okay, <laughs> now fish like that has a lot of mercury content in the in the body because of its size or because, because of, of the size and the number of time that it has lived in the sea. Yeah. What we use are, we use anchovy and sardine. The smaller ones. Yes, yeah. the small fish. Mm -hmm. And remember, anchovies and sardines are very expensive. Mm -hmm. To get fish oil from that is very expensive. Mm -hmm. That's one of your products. Yes, especially anchovy, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, we get our anchovy from Peru, okay? And from a company called ONC, Ultra Nutrition Canada, which mm -hmm. is the biggest uh, Raw material this supplier. is your company or this is the Taiwan company that gives you the supply or the research? Oh, it's a worldwide company. ONC oh, is oh, Canadian. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, Canadian. Now, when ONC collect the anchovy, mm -hmm. they process the anchovy right away. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Mm -hmm. With most companies, mm -hmm. the fish are frozen, they go from Alaska, then mm -hmm. after that, they defreeze and then mm -hmm. they get fish oil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number two, I only give you 100% fish oil. I do not add olive oil, flaxseed oil, mm -hmm. okay, and the best. So that's one of the products, and just list me the products, the other things that you make. Oh, and I we'll also, take a break. Yeah. I also make a fantastic co product called the soya germ, uh, soya bean germ. That's also for uh, for women mm -hmm. who who you know when they hit fifty. How about shampoo, soap, and oh, I make shaving cream for men. I make fantastic shampoos too. Yeah, you do. Yeah, amazing shampoos. I make sure that I do not put products that can cause cancer in the shampoo, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, you know, we are very careful with our products. And how have they been taken so far in the Philippines? Have they been taken well? The 